Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. My name is Amber and if you're new here, thanks for stopping by. I post a little bit of this, a little bit of that, but I mostly talk about lifestyle, beauty, and hair content. So if that's something that you think you would want to see, hit the subscribe button and stay for a while. So on today's video, we will be getting into some of the things that I have recently purchased from Sephora. The Sephora sale was a while ago and I know it'll be a while before y'all see this video, but I just wanted to get into some things, talk about some products, talk about um, some of the things I've been incorporating into my daily lifestyle. So yeah, let's just get into it. Before we even get into the Sephora haul, I want to talk a little bit about kind of what's been going on. So if you have been following me for a while, you know that I am now a fourth year medical student. I am in... I know that a lot of you guys have been following my channel since I started it when I was in undergrad. So that was like a little over five plus years ago. So <laughs> let's not add to the numbers, but I am just so grateful and blessed to be at the stage that I am in life right now. I feel a lot of excitement. I feel a lot of low-key, a little bit of anxiety. It's just so many changes at one time, I'm trying to think about what my goals are in residency what am i looking for in a program hoping that they're looking in the same thing from me as an applicant um i don't know like just making sure that our goals and our visions for things are aligned so that's exciting all of that jazz and getting ready to possibly have to move pack all my stuff child all this stuff that i've accumulated over the years and just starting over with life being a big girl doing big girl things having a big girl job and i don't know y'all i'm excited i'm excited i'm excited but if you want to know more if you want to know more about that process just let me know leave a comment about what you kind of want me to talk about i've been pretty active on tiktok so if you would like to follow me there i'll leave the details kind of in the description box but Let's get into the Sephora haul for real. So starting off strong, we have the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. This is not necessarily a new product to me. I've used it multiple times before, but I've never personally owned it. One of my best friends is a makeup artist, and every time we do our makeup together and we're in the same place at the same time, I always just like to use her um, Laura Mercier just to see if I still like it the same every time. And I actually used it today to kind of set everywhere that I didn't conceal. So... I really like this powder. I feel like this is one of the powders that like sops up the oiliness. I have normal but combination oily skin. So when my skin isn't just vibing, it's really oily. So I think that this is one of those products that really controls that oil for me. And I feel like I don't really have to blot during the night or during the day or whenever I wear it. So I don't know. This was a really good investment, I think, for me personally in my routine. I also noticed that I don't have to use a lot of powder as I would with some of the other product prod, powders. I feel like I don't have to use as much as I would use with some of my other translucent powders I've tried in the past. So, I don't know. I really like her. She gets her tans for me. So, Also, in the makeup category, we have the Fenty Beauty, the Eavesdrop Blur Stick. The Eavesdrop is the Blur and Smooth Tint Stick. I have not tried this one yet and honestly I think I'm gonna have to take it back because I don't think I got the right color. I got the shade 20 but it looks too light for me. I took it out and I kind of like swatched it on my hand a little bit and I think it was a little more I don't know. It might not be as bad. See like this isn't really my color. It's a little too light and I know my face is a little lighter than my hand but I don't know. I don't really like this color match. I'm not 100% sold on it. So I may just swatch it on my cheek or on my neck or something when I don't have any makeup on. See if I still like it. And if I don't like it, it's going back, you know. But I was really excited about it and I always see really good things. But I'm also kind of at the point of my life where I don't want to over consume. I really only buy products now if I have a true need for it in my collection or if yeah like if i i really try to only buy if i have ran out of something and i want to try something new or if it's just a dire need for that product in my collection to kind of fill a gap in a product that i don't have already so i don't know i'm trying not to over consume so i don't know we're gonna give it like one more try and if i don't like it she went back 
to the store, okay? Economy is not economy in need to be for me to be wasting money, you know? Especially on a product I literally haven't even taken out the box yet. A lot of these things that I bought, I've taken them out of the box already and I've used them multiple times. This one has not seen the light of day. And I love Fenty products, but I I just, I don't think that I have a true need for this in my collection. I think that I just bought it because I kept seeing it and I was like, ooh, I want to try it. And it was like, my eyes were really big about the product. So, I don't know. But we're going to try it again just to see, see what it gives, if I like it. I might keep it if I don't like it and if the shade is not shade matching. So for the last product in the makeup category of things that I got from Sephora during the sale, I got the, drumroll please, I got the Danessa Marks Blurring Balm Powder. This is actually some really good stuff. I have it on now. So one of my friends asked me if I would wear this as a foundation and I was like, think so because it just I think it's more of those part one of those products that I would use for a foundation I think what did I say I said that it's one of those products that I would probably use more so for a makeup no makeup look or if I just kind of want that my skin but better type vibe so okay I put it on today just like I said as a foundation but not foundation, more like a tinted moisturizer type vibe today. Just so my skin could look even and just really healthy and radiant. So I put it on, let it dry down pretty much all day. And then I wanted to do a quick face. So I put my concealer, my uh, blush, contour, powder, I bronzer, all the things. I didn't put on a lick of foundation, y'all. And look. I'm getting kind of close, so y'all a little close to me, a little in my business, but I just wanted y'all to see. Of course, it's not full coverage. Um, like, it's not 100% full coverage, but y'all, this is, she's eating, she's versatile. And let me just prove to y'all that I've actually been using this product. I don't trust people who tell me that they like a product and the product is still like unused, brand new looking. So, because at that point it shows me that you didn't really try it. But I love the packaging. It's very compact. It's really not that thick at all. And it's just cute packaging. It comes with a little scoop so you can scoop it out. I like to put it on my hand and warm it up and then put it on my face. So what I've been doing, well, I tried two ways. I'm talking a lot about this product now. I probably should be a spokesperson for this product. I've only used it twice and I'm in love. But I did my normal skincare routine. I took it and I, the first time I used this little spoon, scooped it out, put it on my hand, warmed it up with my fingers and used it to kind of spot conceal, I guess, but it's not concealer. So I used it kind of on the spots just to see what it gave. And I was like, okay, this is cute. And then I took the rest of it and just kind of put it where I felt like I needed a little more evenness in my skin. That was really, really pretty. And then I put a uh, foundation and did like the rest of my makeup routine on top. So essentially I used this as a primer. The second time when I used it today, I used it more like a foundation tinted moisturizer type thing. So I just took my fingers and I rubbed it in and I literally just, and it was so pretty. It was beautiful. My skin was so even and it has, Upsolite technology, which is supposed to be what keeps your skin from getting super oily throughout the day when you have this product on. And she's doing her job. I love it. I think that Danessa Myricks has a really cool brand. I think that the products are really well. I don't know. I am a stan, okay? This product made me hush my mouth, keep my words, because I was very unsure with how I was going to incorporate this into my everyday makeup routine but I think out of all the things that I bought from Sephora during the sale which really wasn't even a sale for me because I'm just a beauty insider I don't shop at Sephora that much I told y'all I'm trying to be a anti-consumerism queen I'm only buying things that I need or that I have space for Martin so hold me accountable please if you see me out here doing another haul put it in the comments girl I thought you said you were trying to save money i thought you were trying to not over consume what's tea so check me on it if you see it but anyway i think this is a really good product and i think that it eased seamlessly into my routine i didn't feel like i had to go out of my way to use it and i don't know i'm gonna get my money's worth <laughs> i know i'm gonna get my money's worth but this one this is the shade nine for reference and i think that it was a really really good shade match for me i think 
um the next shade under this is either 9.5 or 10. i want to say 9.5 but i think 9.5 is a little more rich so i will probably use that more for a bronzing or a contour shade and then they have a shade 8.5 and 8 which i would probably use if i wanted to have like a lighter color for just like the um just to add more dimension and kind of brighten my face so i don't know um we'll play around with it and we'll see so everything else that i got from sephora was really skincare related um i don't even i told y'all my makeup routine is very much if it's not broke i'm probably not gonna fix it i have a lot of makeup and i just want to use the things that i have before i just start trying a whole bunch of new stuff the only time lately that i've been trying new things is when brands send me things in pr but other than that it's not giving i'm going out and spending my money unless i just really have to girl in terms of skincare this right here topicals faded is one of my tried and trues I, obviously we see i've used it already the tube is already like you know she's she's very well broken in and i really like this product because i feel like it's not too abrasive on my skin i don't feel like it burns i will say i definitely eased myself into it when i first started using it i only used it maybe once a week started off and then once i knew that i didn't break out from it i up to maybe twice a week and then once i knew that my skin liked this stuff i kind of was using it almost every night when i was actively treating hyperpigmentation but when i wasn't actively treating hyperpigmentation i would only use it a few times a week just to kind of help keep my skin tone even and clear but right now i'm back in the phase of actively trying to treat some hyperpigmentation so i have been using this um probably every other day because i do use a retinoid and i do use hydroquinone so i don't want to overdo it so i just kind of get this in where i fit in but i love 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 this stuff and this is one hyperpigmentation product that i have to keep in my cabinet i don't feel safe without it and i am not over exaggerating next from my i guess honestly this would probably be my one of my favorite skincare brands slather by topicals i love this one because it just makes your skin feel very new new and refreshed and soft and supple i think that this has really been what's helped clear up a lot of my childhood hyperpigmentation on my legs i used to be outside a lot and active and just just outside doing all the things and i had some scratches and some scars and things like that and i also suffer from um kp so keratosis pilaris i have it really bad on my legs and on my elbows so i like to use this when i get out of the shower and i think that it has immensely improved my skin texture and i can definitely tell when i go without using it for a long time because my skin just starts feeling like rough and alligator skin not really alligator skin but it definitely feels a lot different than when i don't when i am actively using it so i like to use this when i first get out of the shower and then i go on top with my vaseline oil gel <laughs> whatever that i like to use that on top and then sometimes i'll go in with the body butter sometimes i don't it just kind of depends on how much time i have to really pamper myself but if we're really doing it follow up let hold on I like to follow up with her i have one of these already i do but it is almost empty and i'm almost scraping the sidewalls so i got another one i love this stuff i am a gourmand girly to the fullest i love anything that has vanilla notes in it especially when it's something that's vanilla heavy so vanilla 28 princess by killian those are like my ride or die fragrances right now gourmand down i also love don't be shy it's not one of my favorites but i really do like her and i like gentle fluidity gold because vanilla in all of my favorite fragrances the common theme is you guessed it vanilla <laughs> you got me so even billy eilish i love the original billy eilish perfume it smells so freaking good to me ariana grande cloud i'm just if you are not a vanilla girl I just want to know why if you truly do not like vanilla scents please drop in the comments why you don't like vanilla i i truly want to know i'm just interested and if you don't prefer vanilla scents tell me what you do prefer i love trying new fragrances but all of the ones that i love like i said they all have a very very common note and most of the time it's either vanilla or like a marshmallow or something 
something that's kind of in that gourmandy range. Also similar to this, I got these, the little butter drop minis. So like I said, I have this one, but this one is for me. This one is more so of a stocking stuffer. I do probably think I'm gonna put one of these in my purse just for like my hand cream because usually I keep a hand cream in my purse all the time. But I think the other two I'm probably gonna put in some gift bags that I make for Christmas. Uh, or I don't know, who we're pulling names for my family. So um, whoever I pull, they might get one of these, they might not. It depends on who it is. I don't know, we'll see, but um, I love these. This was my first time smelling the, the original one and I just think, it's like, it's cute. It's a really fresh scent, but I just love these two. And honestly, I love this one the most because Vanilla Dream. It, so the last big major thing that I got from the um, Sephora sale week was these eye patches from Topicals. And it is the brightening, brightening, why did I say it like that? The brightening and clearing eye mask. And they pretty much have the same thing as Topical Faded. They're literally Topicals Faded eye patches. Um, it's just in eye mask form. I tried them yesterday and they were cool i think that i would probably have to use them consistently to be able to tell the difference so i'm probably gonna use all of the packs that are in here and then i'll probably know if i would want to buy it again or not i'm not really an eye patch girl i'm more of an eye cream girl um so i mean in the the eye patches that i do have are ones that are super hydrating they're not necessarily for eye treatment it's just for the vibes and to feel good and like spa day girl night you can house in the cut with my twin we be vibing though that's the energy that i have for my eye mask these are serious these are actively working to do something so i don't know we'll see i i'm i'm probably just gonna finish the box and that'll be it i don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know and then of course the samples i mean i feel like i have to talk about the samples because i feel like nobody ever really talks about some of the samples right so pat mcgrath they have this in here and i actually am happy that i got this one because right i've tried this foundation before i have i actually had a full bottle of it but i had gotten the wrong shade i had the shade 27 i believe and 27 was just way 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 too red for me it was legit orange i actually looked like an oompa loompa but the foundation was so good i was sick that i had to send it back because it was just like man this is a really good formula but the shade just wasn't it for me and i tried to make it work with my concealers and balancing them out trying like the color theory and all that but i just feel like with some products for the price that you pay I would hope that I don't have to do all the mixing and matching and color wizarding. I just, but that's just me. That's just how I feel. Some people don't mind that, but I do mind because I just, I don't have time for that. I like foundations that I can just put on and go. And even if I do kind of have to balance it out with some of my concealers or go a little extra on the powder or whatever the case may be, I don't want it to have to be something super dramatic. Now, granted, I do have my foundations that I would consider more of my winter shade and then ones that I would consider more of my summer shade. But for the most part, that's it. So I don't, I, yeah, like just being the complete wrong undertone in general is, it's a no for me. I couldn't do it. So I am very curious to know what 26 looks like, even though I said, because, okay, 26 and 27 are very similar in color 27 was a good color for me but the undertone was t like it was so red so i'm curious to know what the undertone is at six um i don't know I'll, I'll probably have to look on the website and all that but at this point i'm rambling about the foundation so let's just move on and then we have these isle of paradise self tanning drops these are medium so it's probably not even gonna work for me i mean but it's supposed to turn your moisturizer into a tanning lotion type thing well like a self tanner not a tanning lotion um it's supposed to make you like either radiant sunkissed golden or bronze depending on how many drops you put into your product and it says medium so it's probably not gonna be the color that i want but i don't know we'll try it just 
just for funsies. I mean, the summer's over, but I feel like I love having my um, collarbones out in outfits. Like, I love a, I have on a sweetheart neckline little well this is more of a scoop neck but i love scoop necks i love v-necks i love um anything that just shows and accentuates my collarbone that is me so i think that always having a product that can help me look bronzy is never a bad thing yep i have this peter thomas roth this is the instant firm no filter primer also again just excited to try this for funsies i have plenty of primers but whatever now these bad boys these are the last things that i'm going to talk about today but literally i am so happy that i got these in these little tiny sizes so i can put them in my travel bag i love sunday riley i love them real bad my skin loves sunday riley oh okay i was not trying to do that i kind of spilled a little bit but i'm wasting the product but um, i really love this stuff and I really did see good results when I was using their vitamin C line. So this and then the Afterglow Moisturizer, so good. I was glowing out of this world, very radiant. I actually have a video of me using both of these products. I'm going to just link it up here somewhere. It was when I went to Houston and it was after I had gotten like this nice little goodie set from Sunday Riley and I was able to try their products and I fell in love, my skin fell in love and I've been hooked ever since. That is pretty much it. Um, it wasn't a lot of things, but some of these things were a little pricey, you know, and I don't think the sale was really selling for me because like I said, I'm only a beauty insider. I didn't get like the 20 or the 30% off. It was just the 10% off, which is basically the taxes. So honestly, it was just an excuse to get some things that I needed to pick up anyway or some things that I wanted to try. But all in all, I think I got some pretty good things and let me know if you guys have tried any of these or if you would like to try any of these. Don't forget to do y'all homework and let me know your thoughts about fragrances and if you like vanilla, if you don't like vanilla, if you don't like vanilla, what do you like instead? So yeah, that is all and I'll see y'all on the next video. Bye y'all.